Welcome to the tutorial about preparing a research project. What do you do when you are assigned a research product project for a class? The first step in the writing process for research assignments is to determine what type of research project you are being asked to complete. Most research assignments fall into one of two basic categories, reports or arguments. In a researched report, the writer presents a detailed discussion of a topic from a neutral point of view. The assignment instructions may ask the writer to explain, to summarize, or to describe. In a researched argument, the writer states and supports his or her position on an issue. The assignment instructions may ask the writer to argue, to persuade, or to propose. After determining the purpose of the research project, writers should brainstorm and choose a specific topic, do preliminary research, write a research question, and then prepare to research by assessing what they need to learn about the topic and identifying key words to use when looking for sources. Unless you are given a specific topic to conduct research on, you will need to start by choosing a research topic. Start by brainstorming. Make a list of topics that you believe are researchable and that you truly find interesting. Try to identify at least five or six potential topics. The more the better. What do you enjoy discussing? What makes you excited? What bothers you? What frustrations do you have? And remember that if your topic is not interesting to you, then it probably won't be interesting to your readers either. Specific focus topics always produce better essays. So when brainstorming, try to identify narrow topics that fit the scope of your assignment. How specific the topic needs to be depends on the assignment. A five-page research paper requires more focused topic than a 20-page research paper. That being said, even longer assignments typically benefit from narrower topics. For example, if the writer were interested in cafeterias serving junk food in public schools, he or she could narrow the topic to focus just on non-nutritional drinks, or to focus just on unhealthy foods, or to focus on both drinks and food, but only for elementary students, excluding middle and high school students. The writer would not be excluding things because they matter less, but because trying to do too much in one essay will result in an essay that's vague and general. The following chart lists a few strategies for how to limit your topic. Note that these strategies can be combined to narrow a topic even further. So it's broken into strategy and then what's a broad and a more focused topic. You'll notice that if your topic is legal immigration, your focus might be on H-1B visas. If you are wanting to research campaign finance laws, you might focus on the finance laws in the early 20th century. If your broad topic is recycling, you might limit it to just recycling in New Orleans. If your broad topic is in performance enhancing drugs, you might want to just limit your topic to performance enhancing drugs used by Olympic sprinters. As a general rule, the more concrete and focused the topic is, the more effective the essay will be. It's always better for writers to delve deeply into one or two aspects of a topic than to attempt to touch on every element of the topic briefly and superficially. Once you have developed a list of specific focused topics, choose the one that seems most likely to succeed. Before you begin taking a position or drafting an essay, you need to do preliminary research, preliminary and formal research, to understand the big picture and the specific debates currently taking place about the topic. The sources used at this stage do not to be a, need to be appropriate for including in your academic essay. Instead, these sources should be easy to access and easy to understand. In other words, the writer's goal here is to learn what people are currently saying about the topic. Consider beginning your own informal research process with a simple internet search. You can read through the news, through Wikipedia, through social media, 
and other kind of content of the topic, including Facebook and Twitter posts, just to get a general idea. This is informal research. When doing informal research to learn about the topic's context, you must remember that these sources are not going to be included in an academic essay. The research question, sometimes called a scholarly question, a thesis question, or a writing question, is the overarching question that writers will eventually answer in their research. In many ways, developing a good research question is the most important step of the writing process. So once you've done your preliminary research, you'll formulate your research question. <clears throat> writing a research question rather than a research statement has benefits. First, the question reminds writers that the topic is complex. Questions remind writers that the essay needs to provide concrete answers. And questions remind writers to consider multiple sides of the issues. The type of research question posed depends on the purpose of the research project. When writing researched arguments intended to persuade, writers often develop should questions. So for example, should public schools offer PE? Should public schools require literature classes? Starting with a traditional question can help writers formulate their research question, but writers don't need to limit themselves to these two approaches. Developing that research question is a critical aspect of beginning your research project. And again, working with a writing center tutor and your instructor during the research process is really important. And this is the end of your tutorial on research writing.